Hello everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Now's the time of year where I am trying to use up loads of the things that I have grown in abundance in the garden, usually too much. I hate seeing anything go to waste, so I try and use them up in chutneys, sauces, whatever. So this week I'm going to show you how I'm going to use up a lot of my basil. Basil is great for making pesto sauce with, which we all know is absolutely delicious. So, what we're going to need is basil, basil leaves, probably about 80 grams worth, just a large bunch of basil. Um, you, you, unlike me, probably haven't grown all this in your garden, so you're going to get it from the supermarket. I would just get a large bunch or yeah, about 80 grams is, is fine. You can also bulk it up with spinach if you would prefer. Um, so maybe half and half or whatever, that's fine. We also gonna need, traditionally, pesto needs pine nuts, which is what I'm gonna use today. They are quite pricey. So you can substitute pine nuts for other nuts, almonds, walnuts, whatever. They are just as good and they are half the price or a fraction of the price. We're also going to need some Parmesan cheese. Again, this is what's traditionally used, but you can use pecorino or a vegetarian alternative or a vegan alternative. Um, you can use nutritional yeast as an alternative. Um, so yeah, but I'm using the Parmesan. Garlic, very important, but not too much because it will overpower everything else. Olive oil, lovely olive oil, good for everything. And some lemon juice. This is entirely optional and up to you, but I do like a good squeeze of lemon juice in my pesto. So, that's the ingredients. Let's get on with it. Okay, are we ready boys and girls? I will begin. Now you could chuck all of the ingredients into the blender, give it a whiz, and it will probably be delicious but I'm just gonna do it in a bit more orderly fashion and it does tend to bring out the flavors a bit. So first of all, I'm gonna put in 50 grams of pine nuts and our garlic, two garlic cloves. You can toast the pine nuts in a, in a, in a frying pan if you want to, but it's not necessary, it's just as delicious. So I'm gonna do these first, give them a bit of a whiz. Oh my gosh, that smells divine. Right, now we're gonna put in our basil. I have, my basil plant is now naked. I have taken everything off, including the flowers. You can eat the flowers as well if you have got basil plants and that's what's happened to yours. That everything is edible. Everything is edible. So we'll get this in. That smells fantastic. Now we're gonna put in our Parmesan, which again is 50 grams. I'm gonna squeeze my lemon, half a lemon. I'm not gonna put it in yet, I'm gonna add that at the end. And now slowly we're gonna pour in our olive oil. I've got 150 ml poured out here. You might not need it all, you might need a little bit more. So we're gonna uh, start with that anyway. If you turn on your blitzer and pour it in as you're going along. Right, I'm just gonna check this now with a spoon. Scrape some of the bits from the side, probably. You'd, obviously, you don't want it too runny, but you don't want it too hard. Mm -hmm. no. So, a bit more olive oil, I think. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper. And now I'm going to add a bit 
of the lemon juice. Not all of it, just a bit of, oh gosh. I don't want the seeds in either. Right, right, I'm gonna give that a blitz and I'm gonna give it another taste. Okay, I think this is the final blitz. Let's hope so. Look at the color of it. Oh, it's such a lovely color green. Okay. Oh my God, that is perfect. That is the perfect pesto. So yes, basically, as you could see that I did, you can add a bit of this, add a little bit more of that until you get it to the taste that you want it. Oh, it's really lovely. It'll keep in the fridge for up to a week. Um, if you put it in a container, I pour a little bit of olive oil over the top to kind of seal it as well. But also it freezes really well. And a really good idea to put it in the freezer is to get a freezer, uh, an ice cube tray and fill each individual ice cube tray with the pesto. So when it freezes, <clears throat> you've just got a portion of pesto every time to add to whatever is you're cooking. Obviously, it goes really well with pasta, but it's really lovely to put with mashed potato or in soup so anything like that it's really versatile it's so tasty or you can just spread it on a cracker so i hope you enjoy making yours i look forward to hearing your stories